G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And in this episode, we want to tackle a bit of a myth I used to hear in Queensland all the time. And that is whether or not venomous snakes, like this taipan and this carpet python, can crossbreed and create hybrid super snakes. So stay tuned, guys. We're talking about snakes and whether or not they can crossbreed. So this story that our large pythons and our venomous snakes are crossbreeding and going to create these super large venomous snakes that are dangerous to mankind is a story that I used to hear all the time in North Queensland and I'm pretty sure that any other part of the country where pythons and venomous snakes cohabitate would probably have a similar story. Now one of the rules that we learn in high school biology is that if two animals can crossbreed they have to be the same species. Now if you've seen our video on dingoes and dogs and what the difference is, you'll know that this isn't necessarily the case. Uh, things like dingoes, dogs, wolves and jackals can all interbreed and they're all species in their own rights. Humans and Neanderthals, all sorts of examples of animals that are different species but can crossbreed. The catch is, while different species can in certain circumstances crossbreed and create fertile offspring, they do have to at least be closely related. Now, the way that we classify different species and how they all fit together in sort of their degree of relatedness is called taxonomy. And basically, we break animals up into different sort of classes, starting with kingdom. So of course, there's the plant kingdom, there's fungi, and then there's the animal kingdom. That's the one we all know about. Then it goes down to phylum, which breaks them down into things like vertebrates and non-vertebrates. Then class, so you've got mammals, amphibians, reptiles, all these sorts of things. And it goes further down as you go along. Now the most specific category in this taxonomic system is subspecies. And here we have three different subspecies of carpet python. The jungle carpet, the Murray-Darling carpet, and the diamond python. Now, because all these guys are subspecies, it means they actually share the same parent species. They might look different, they might come from different ecosystems, different parts of the country, but they're all carpet pythons. And as, and as a result, they can all crossbreed and have fertile young. The next step up from subspecies is species and this guy here is different again while the other guys are all variations of Marilius Beloda, the carpet python this guy the centrillion carpet python is a species in his own right Marilia breadlie and again under the right circumstances this guy can crossbreed with the others and have fertile offspring because while they're different species they both share the same genus Marilia. pythons and venomous snakes however like the carpet python here and the red bellied black snake here aren't the same species. One's Marilia, one is Sudokus. They're not even the same family, with pythons being Pythonidae and all the venomous snakes in Australia being Elapidae. The point at which they actually become related is a suborder. We call it Serpentes, which is all snakes. Now, this degree of relation is about the same that dogs have with things like sea lions and ferrets. It's also the same degree of relation that human beings have with things like the tiny little lion tamarind. So, while snakes might all look fairly similar phenotypically in their design, they're actually such a huge family that a lot of them aren't all that closely related. They just share a few features in common and uh, haven't diverged as far as other species. So these guys certainly can't crossbreed. The other point to consider is that if snakes could crossbreed, like these two, the Murray Darling and the Centrillion Carpet Python, over time, they would probably muddy each other's genetics to the point where they're no longer separate species. We wouldn't have one or the other, we'd just have carpet pythons. So it's another good example that if two species are known as separate species in the same area, the chances are they probably can't crossbreed. So there you are. While some snakes like the two carpet pythons up here can crossbreed, pythons and venomous snakes like the red belly black snake or the brown snake or the typhan certainly can't crossbreed. So we're not gonna have these super hybrid feral snakes that are dangerous to human beings. So there you go, you can sleep tight. Now, if you do like the video, guys, please hit that subscribe button down below. There's plenty more snake videos, all sorts of other Australian wildlife coming up. Other than that, guys, leave a like, a comment, all that sort of jazz. Check on back next week. Have a good one and take care.